Hey folks, World Go here. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel, whichever it may be. And welcome to all the old and new subs, all 1300 of you and growing now. That's, uh, that's awesome. So today we're going to be getting back into tabs and I think we're going to go with the Wild West campaign. So let's go ahead and get started. Miners and Dynamite. And I can choose, let's see if we can't get them all corralled up and let's see what happens with a Hawacha. I, I don't really foresee this one uh working but it's worth a shot well if they would Well, it looks like the halflings are holding a little bit better than I thought they would. Well, looks like we got to take matters into our own hands here. That will uh, definitely do it. So let's drop us a Zeus, some halflings, and some firework archers. I think the cactuses might be pretty good at projectile deflection or electricity here because Zeus doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot against them. Well, I take that back. Oh, it looks like I'm surrounded here. Go with some halflings, a couple of Yarls, firework archers. All right, halflings down. And firework archers doing their thing. Oh. All right, so we got him. Oof. Man, they apparently sent him launching. Oh yeah. Now this one is probably one of those ones where the halfling meat shields will shine. And I think the two Yarls here should clean house. Let's give this one a shot. Oh, I didn't see them. And it's just raining bodies. Uh, there we go. These are probably the most expensive and useless units. I mean, there's probably a use for them, and I just don't know it. And we'll go with a Jarl and a Zeus. And sure, why? Why not? More meat shields. I always forget that you can do the slow motion thing, but it is just so awesome looking. And of course the Yarl has things in her hand. Did I'll have to watch that on the replay. Did they just clobber their own people? Well, I guess that's totally accurate. All right, so we got some more dynamite throwers. Yeah, they're just hiding out. Well, we definitely don't want them popping in on our sides. So we got Operation Distraction there. Now the lassoers are kind of a troublesome unit, but it's kind of hard to lasso a mammoth. We'll see how that works out for them. And we'll stick with our Yarl plan. And we'll just throw in some firework archers. Those are always fun. Yep, yeah, there we go. So now they're fighting. Oh, they managed to get the mammoth. Ah. 
And I think the halflings all won their fight, or the dynamite won. One of the two. A little bit of friendly fire, always. Come on, guys. And nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's going to sneak up on us. All right, so we... Oh, those are the sharpshooters. So we may need a few more meat shields here. Oh, yep. Oh, there are multiple targets going on here. Oh, man. Why not? Mix it up a little bit. Uh, well, until they just get smoked by the sharpshooters. Man, there's fireworks. Hey, what do you know? I think this might work. I kind of like the firework archers just because they provide... Well, a lot of entertainment. Because it's always fun to watch the fight and then just random people fall from the sky. Speaking of fall from the skies, balloon archers are pretty awesome too. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, the Da Vinci tank just kind of laid down the law of that one. Balloons. Fireworks. Prisoners. My own people. Everybody's going flying. And I don't think this one's going to work. Good strategy, but I don't know how it failed. We're going to try it again, though. Yeah, see, I didn't know what got the tank the last time. I think it might have been the cactuses. No, it was the... These guys. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Again, you can play the same fight a hundred times and get a hundred and one different results. Yeah, that's just tabs. A Da Vinci tank, snake archers for distraction, uh, and then we'll try the balloon archers again. Couple painters. One guy was spinning around the top here like that. <laughs> is this guy alive? Oh, is he alive or is he dead and just stuck and spinning around? Either way, it's hilarious. Oh, he's totally alive. Oh, he finally come off. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love this game. Well, I guess he's a calling me out then, Pilgrim. Yeah, I, I can't really do a good John Wayne. All right, 750 to take down Paladin here. Let's try a Valkyrie and a bunch of halflings. Oh no, he just smokes every one of them right from the get-go. Now yeah, let's try this again, but just move them back. And we staggered them a little bit, so hopefully when one side gets done, the other side will have reloaded.
And they all seem to be focused on the guy on the stairs. And who's left? Oh, I see him. Two mini guns and four of the quick draws. Are those quick draws? I don't know. They got two guns with two barrels. So it's technically four guns. Math. And let's see if the staggering this time helps. Oh. Yep, I think we got one of them and the cactus in one shot. All right, so we got one of the biggest threats. Oh, got them both. All right, the musketeers have been working for us pretty good. I don't know, man. The guys with the big irons, they just kind of... Oh. Well, I guess they can't dodge them all. And no casualties. And just not messing around, we're going to go with the staggered musketeers and meat shields. Oh, jeez. There's musketeers, man. They're, they're one shot, but it'll knock a golf ball sized hole. Because that's the projectile. Lone Ranger and his friends, huh? Well, Lone Ranger, meet the musketeers. There's more than three of them. Well, we've already got a couple casualties here. Open fire, guys. Stagger them. Have an alternate line in the back. I'm kind of hoping when this line right here opens up, it just takes everything out in front of it. And if not, these will get the remainder. But I'm always worried about this many barrels opening fire. So let's see how this one goes. Oh, yeah, just don't fire until you see the blossoms of their cactus. And one last guy. Oh, drilled him. Now it is our turn. Now, the meat shields of this particular faction, are uh, they have dynamite. Makes them just a hair more dangerous. more dangerous for everybody that just how do you deal with this all right let's try this one and you're still gonna bunch up oh it looks like only one died that time All right, so we've got some sneakiness behind us. The halfling gunner. And we have achieved orbit. Yeah, we're going to have to take charge. Down, down. 
There we go. And uh, we got that black stuff going on. Okay. I'm about to say, I think we were going to have one of those invincible units show up. Not really a problem when it's one of my own guys, but when it's the computer, you have a real issue. All right, king, archers, and dancing horses. And all right, so we got that. Uh, now the archers are going to be the things to deal with. The king will soak up a bunch of the shots. Uh, I think we got this though. Well, when you want something done right, you got to do it yourself, I guess. There we go. All right, so try for the gunner on the roof strategy. Oh yeah, this is kind of cheap. Yeah, that was pretty cheap, but I I'll take a W where I can get it. Maybe they'll all jump here and we can get a concentration of them and the dynamiters will blow them up. And maybe these guys can clean house. We'll see. Or they'll just get yelled at. Oh, I think we got that weird black thing going on. Oh, no, we got them. And our miniguns. Let's see if this method will work. Historically accurate. Mini guns would definitely have stopped the Vikings. Oh no, this looks like it's going to be fun. All right, I was about to say, it looked like my guy just killed over. Uh, now, the Shogun and Samurai. Not exactly sure how good Samurai are at deflecting bullets, but I'm pretty sure they'll let us know. All right, let's give this one a shot. 
All right, so it looks like they do pretty good at head on, but from the air is just. What in the? Oh, where did this guy come from? <laughs> did I just cheese it? I think I just cheesed it. Yeah, come on, guys. You can totally get me. Uh, well. I'll take some wine for that good cheese. Like, they had to have thought about this. Because the ones that don't get thrown off the map by the current get just annihilated by my dudes on the ground over here until my own guy decides he's going to take matters into his own hands and he himself gets thrown off the map here. Smooth move, dude. Now, my thought process here is that these guys will turn towards my dynamite throwers and just blow away these guys right here. Don't know if that's the case, but we'll see. Oh, well, definitely some friendly fire. We got two of the cannons that took out each other. Oh, God, bomb throwers. And they're trying to storm me here. Oh, and I just caught one straight to the face. But I think the dead eyes have this in hand. And the one guy is just uselessly throwing here. Yeah. Fire enough bullets, you'll eventually hit what you're aiming at. All right, let's try this. That should take out a majority of them. The skeletons I'm not too worried about. It's um this guy. It looks like he's on his way to an anime convention. Oh, vampires. I forgot all about these guys. Okay, once they took out the Alright, so they did take out the vampires pretty reasonably. All right. Oh, yeah, it's kind of hard to dodge that. Hey, that was actually like I kind of knew what I was doing. Okay, so we got to defeat the king. That is the only goal here. All right, let's see if the dead eye can do it. Oh, there we go. I'll survive 15 seconds. Yeah, this is one of those. Yeah, this is one of those cheese ones. I just remembered that the showguns and samurai will stop head on bullets. So I think we're going to have to use the gunslinger. Oh, I only had to... Okay, I thought I had to defeat two of them, but... Hey, whatever works. Well, this should be one of those ones that I don't really have to... take control of, unless there's some... sneakiness going on, which I don't see. Well, except for, like, the captains here. But usually that'll work. So I've got to defeat Zeus. Oh, right through the shields. Just beeline, got him right in the neck. All right, yeehaw. 
And there is the Wild West campaign of tabs. Now, that should leave, I think, three left. I, I keep forgetting this number. The uh, Renaissance, Pirate, and Challenges. But that is going to be it for this episode of Tabs. Remember, to all the old and new subscribers, I thank you. I appreciate it. Still can't thank you enough for joining the channel. I hope you stick around. There's going to be great things to come. You're going to help make this channel great. And we're going to do great things. Thank you again. Have a good one.